Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to go into some detail about the differences between ShareX and GreenShot, which are both screenshot applications that you can use for Windows. And for GreenShot specifically, they also have a Mac version, though that one does cost $2. On Windows though, they are both free. So as screenshot applications, GreenShot and ShareX can both be used to take screen captures of regions on your screen, windows on your screen, or entire desktops. So when you have both of the applications open, you'll be able to find them in the notification area where you can right click on either of them to access the interface to use them. By default, you would also be seeing key bindings for the capture options of Greenshot. Currently, I have those disabled. So I will need to manually go into the menu in order to do those. So more or less, these functions you see in Greenshot at the top here work roughly the same in both applications. So capture region, if I select that, you can target an area of your screen, a picture region where when you let go of the mouse is going to allow you to save it. So you'll see with Greenshot by default, when you take your screenshot, you'll be given this menu where you're able to save it to the computer, of course, also to open it up in the Greenshot image editor, which is okay, but not that full featured. Usually I'd rather use something more like GIMP in order to make any changes to it, or you can upload it to ImageGur, which is a photo sharing site, which also allows you to upload photos anonymously, which is the default. Just to really quickly show it, I can open it up in the image editor here. And you'll see that although there are tools which are useful if you need to take notes, circling areas, writing some text onto the screen, it is still relatively basic in the number of applications for it. So let's go ahead and close out of that. So with both applications, you can actually upload your images to ImageGur. And if we go into the configure menu for ImageGur, we can see that anonymous access is the default, but we can turn that off, hit OK. And then the next time we do a capture and try to upload it to ImageGur, we'll need to authenticate with the program. So relatively straightforward, we would just need to put in username, password, allow it, login, just like any other application. The last thing I think I wanna point out about GreenShot before we go over to ShareX for comparison is that if you want to set an automatic function for what happens when you take your screenshot, you can do that in the preferences menu. So if we go to destination, you'll see that select destination dynamically is checked. But if for instance, you want it to always save the image to a location on your computer, you could choose save directly here. So now it's always going to be doing this rather than giving you an option. And then on the output tab, you can set the details for that, where it should be located, the default file name for the image and what image format. So that's PNG by default. You could switch to JPEG if you wanted to save in file size, but removing the alpha channel from the image. Generally, when I do use GreenShot though, I'm totally okay with just selecting it dynamically. So we'll just leave it like that. So in a nutshell, green shot is rather good. However, you are relatively limited in what you can do with it. It's basically just a screenshot application. And now we can go over to ShareX. So if we take a look at the menu for ShareX, what you'll notice immediately is that there are a lot more options here. So in ShareX, you still have access to the same basics, taking a full screen, which is going to be a screenshot of everything on your desktop here. You can take screenshots of individual windows like the web browser or the ShareX program window itself. I think it would be a little bit easier if we just use the main program interface rather than the notification area for right now. So let's actually continue using it here. You can select a monitor if you have multiple monitors. So on a laptop, I only have one monitor, so that's why you only see one here, but you could just select monitor two if you want to screenshot monitor two. So the region capture inside of ShareX has a few more features layered on top of it. So if we go into region capture here, uh, before we select a box on our screen, to select which region it's going to capture, you'll notice up here at the top that there's actually a bar with many tools we can apply to our screen before we take the screenshot. So for instance, if we select the arrow tool, what we can do is actually draw some arrows on our screen before we go ahead and take our screenshot. So maybe we're just pointing at all the buttons, you know, whatever. And then after we've done that, we can go back over to one of our tools for selecting a region. So we have rectangle region. If we want to take a standard square screenshot, we can do ellipse region, which is going to be a circle or oval shape and freehand region where we can basically draw whatever shape we want. So for instance, freehand region, I select it and now I can left click and start drawing around the screen to determine what region I want to actually capture in the final image. And when we go all the way around, we can finish by letting go of the left mouse button. And now that's going to become a image. 
So we can left click on that and you can see that it only captured the region which we selected. Everything else in the background is transparent. Of course, if you just wanted a standard region capture, then we would go back into region. Make sure at the top that you're in rectangle region. Left click, drag your box while holding down left click. Let go of it when you have your box in the right area. And then you're going to get your screenshot. Of course, I say go take all of these random screenshots. You'll notice that they are listed here, but the actual location which they are stored on the computer is going to be in that screenshots folder. So if you open that up, you can see by default, it defaults to your user profile inside of documents or OneDrive documents, share screenshots. And then it's also organized by the current month and year. Now, this is where the features of ShareX really start to differentiate themselves from GreenShot. If it's not apparent yet, ShareX is the more powerful program. If we go into the capture menu, there is screen recording and screen recording GIF. So the difference here is that screen recording is going to output a video file. And then GIF is going to output one of those animated images that you see on meme sites all the time. Of course, you can use a GIF file anywhere you can upload an image. But then screen recording is going to be an actual video file. There's also scrolling capture, which is really handy. Let's open up a web browser again. And we can run the scrolling capture on this web browser. So I would just target this window over here and let's minimize share x when we're ready we can go ahead and hit start scrolling capture i won't touch the mouse at all it automatically goes from top to bottom taking different images and piecing them together to create basically a capture of the full web page so you can see how we can scroll top to bottom and it's basically seamlessly stitched together about as well as you can get of course uh, the scroll bar kind of moves with us so you can see it appear four five six times but the area we actually care about the scrolling text on the background of the website that gets stitched together really nicely so it's a really great tool for scrolling capture back in the capture menu also uh, text capture is pretty impressive as well so if you're looking at something like a image or a pdf you might have difficulty selecting the text and capturing it so that you can copy paste it i don't know into a note whatever you need so you can use the text capture tool to actually analyze a capture of an image and then extract the text from that. So if I text capture here, and we'll just use this website as an example here, I'll just grab this box here. It'll turn it into a region, it's basically screen capturing it, and it'll put it through this optical character recognition uh, service. So we'll go ahead and hit yes to that. And now we get the text extracted from that image, which we could use for whatever we need it for. So with GreenShot, you can have your image captures automatically upload to ImageGur. In ShareX, you can do a lot more. So you can use this upload tool if you need to upload a file, a folder, or a text to online services. So what are their services? Well, if we go to destinations, you can see image uploader, image group once again there, but there's also many other options here. So you can do image shack or Flickr or many other image sites. There's also a text uploader. So paste bin really commonly used by programmer types. Um, whenever you need to copy paste information could be a script for instance file uploader so you can upload your files or folders to pretty much all of the common cloud storage solutions you can put a url through one of the url shortener tools and you can share your urls with social media sites like twitter facebook reddit and whichever tool you set in this destinations menu is going to be the default for those specific actions so with pastebin being the text uploader if i go ahead and choose upload text and I guess I'll just share this random location on the computer. Then we'll see that it's going to pop open on Pastebin like two seconds later. We also have many other tools related to images, such as such as selecting a color from the screen and another built-in image editor. Or also, if we have our ShareX integrated with services like Twitter, we could send out a tweet right from within here. And now one of the really powerful things about ShareX, if we go to after capture tasks or after upload tasks, you may notice that a couple of these tasks have bold text currently that indicates that they're set to automatically occur whenever we do that action. So if we capture an image, it's going to copy the image to the clipboard and it's also going to save the image to file. So we can toggle any of these on and off with a left click such as show file and explore, so that when we actually do that thing, all of these follow-up functions happen automatically. So if I go to capture now, let's do a region capture. I'll grab my full desktop. So now it's going to save the file to the computer 
And it's also going to open up the folder where those files are stored. So you can also set up ShareX to automatically upload to different services. For instance, after capture, uh, we could go to upload image to host. So that's going to upload it to the default image uploader service, ImageGer. So by default, that's anonymous, but you can log in and authenticate with that as well. And then you can choose after upload tasks so that once it's uploaded to that site, it's going to do other stuff. So for instance, you can shorten the URL and then have that URL copied to the clipboard so that when you share it with other people, it's not the original URL, but it is the shortened URL that you're going to be copy pasting. So in a nutshell, there's just a lot of automated tasks that you can set up within ShareX and it just goes way far and above beyond what you'd find in GreenShot. Not to knock on GreenShot, GreenShot is a fine tool. It's just that ShareX has a lot more power on top of what you'd expect from a typical screenshot tool. Also, as I kind of alluded to before, there's just so many more services you can authenticate with. So you can see all of them in here. But if we actually want to log in and authenticate with one of the services, we would go down to destination settings here. And then you can see the full list here. And then you can put in usernames and passwords or API keys, whatever you need to authenticate with each service. Of course, it's going to vary from website to website and service to service, but you really do just have a tremendous amount of tools that you can integrate with ShareX for your screenshots or even screen recordings if that's what you want to do with it. So I'll probably have another video going into even more detail about how you can use ShareX for these kind of information or screenshot capturing and sharing activities. But for this video, just comparing ShareX and GreenShot, I think I've gone into enough detail. So GreenShot does still have one advantage over ShareX, which is that to my knowledge, uh, ShareX is still only for Windows. But if you go over to GreenShot and you need it for the Mac OS, then you can use it as a really solid screen capture tool. Of course, if your needs are really basic, you just need to capture regions of the screen and that's it, then you can still do that within GreenShot. It's a fine tool. But if you think you might get use out of the automation features of ShareX or the ability to integrate with many extra services, or maybe you want to use the screen recorder, then uh, ShareX is just going to be the superior tool in general. So that's going to be about it for this video comparing ShareX and GreenShot. I hope that all of you have learned a lot watching this video to the end. Thanks for watching. I've been Chris, and I will see all of you in my future video content.